Hi everybody, I'm Lena. I'm a bride-to-be and in the worst possible circumstance, I would say. Um, like many of you, COVID has completely changed our wedding plans. On top of it, I am eight months pregnant, so um, I am doing all of my wedding planning from home. So I'm shopping online, doing things that I wasn't expecting to be doing for my wedding, and I'm also trying to do it all for as cheap as possible with looking as beautiful as possible. So I wasn't expecting to do this video today, but I order flowers online from Amazon of all places. Now, I, I almost ordered from Michael's. Um, there was a few other places, but because I have an Amazon card, I just went ahead and did that so I could get my 5% back. Um, they came today and I did everything in like two hours and it turned out amazing. I've never done floral arrangements before. So I thought that it would be something really important to share with other brides that are trying to do this from home um, with COVID happening. Um, so what I did, um, I did it all for under $145. So I had been looking at Etsy and I've been looking at a couple other places that had artificial flowers that like were bouquets that other people made and just the bridal bouquet alone was like $200 for like a big bridal or almost $300 for a big bridal bouquet. And I said, you know what? I can spend 150 bucks, see if it, if it helps, like see if I, if it works. And if it doesn't, then I'll, I'll go to plan B. So I'm going to share with you what I did. So I bought a pack of calla lilies, which these are like, um, real feel calla lilies. These are amazing. These are probably the by far the best flowers that I got, like feeling wise. You even when you feel them, you think that they're real. These are awesome, and they also bend a lot, so they're really cool to like wrap around while you're working. Um, I bought a pack of thistle, which these are kind of expensive, and they're not everybody's cup of tea, but they um, they really they make for like a really unique bouquet. I bought two clusters of um, peonies. And I have to keep looking at my sheet because I'm not a flower person. I had to go look them back up. I just thought that they looked nice. So there's a pack of like, um, kind of like maroon and blush peonies and they come together in a bouquet already made. So if you just want that color, the bouquet is beautiful. It has these and it has different like textures in it. What I did is I bought a pack of the pink ones and then I bought a pack of the blue ones and I cut them into pieces and then put them back together with some of the white flowers that I bought. And again, like I said, I'm not a flower person. I've never done this before. So I might get the names wrong or have no name for the flower at all. So what I did was I started with my bridal bouquet because it's the most important, duh. And I wanted this like long cascading bridal bouquet. So what I did was I ordered Wisteria, which is by far probably the fakest looking out of all of these plants, but I ordered this draping, if you just, if you just type in like, it doesn't even have a name, the one that I bought, but it was just like draping house, fake plant, real feel, something like that. It'll come up and that makes the wisteria look much better. Um, but all the rest of these flowers are awesome. Um, my bridal colors or my wedding colors are burgundy and navy for the most part but it's not 1995. So I don't want to look like I'm going to prom. Everything is not just going to be burgundy and navy. So I have a little blush in here. Um, the thistle is a little bit lighter blue. I didn't want it too dark to make where it would seem a little gothic. Um, and these aren't finished. Like this is, this is what it's going to look like, but like I haven't even, um, put the tape around it. It hasn't come yet. It, I ordered it, but it's, it's going to come on Monday. Um, but these came within two days. So that's amazing. So I just have like a hair bow around it right now while I'm waiting, but these all have wire in them. So as you go and get it in the place you want to, you can just kind of like wrap them around themselves. And then you can use a wire cutter like this and snap off the ends. They have like little divots in them that you can snap off. And then later when my tape comes, I'll tape it and then if I, and I'll put ribbon around it to make it look all nice and pretty, but there's mine. So I started with mine. And then I separated the other ones for my, um, for my bridal party. So I have three bridesmaids on my side. And then my, um, soon to be husband has his sister as one of his, like, I guess she's a groomsmaid. So I had to make four bouquets for them. So I was able to make 
for smaller ones. And like I said, those um, peonies, these guys, they come with all these other little textured ones in their bouquet. So if you just want it to be more, mainly that color or mainly this color, I think they have like four or five other colors, then you can stick something in those. Um, but I kind of wanted a mini version of my bouquet. So I, I added this one flower. Again, I don't know what it's called because I'm not used to doing this. Um, so I was able to do four just like this. Then with what was left over, um, I was able to do a flower, a, a even smaller flower girl bouquet, which I hadn't originally, I wasn't originally going to do because my daughter isn't actually our flower girl. She's probably going to be more of our ring bearer just because I don't trust our little boys. With, with her rings. So she's, but she's, she wanted to carry one. So she's going to have this, um, that was left over. I was also able to save all the scraps from everything, like a random flower here, a random flower there to save for my table decorations. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, for the other two groomsmen, they're just gonna have a plain, um, what are these called? Calla lilies. They're just going to have these two plain calla lilies. We'll cut them and we'll make them look like a boutonniere. Uh, just a single flower, but not too girly. Um, and then my fiance will have a thistle with a calla lily as his boutonniere. And I think these come in pack of t packs of 20 and I got two of them um, so that I would have some left over to be able to like sprinkle, sprinkle around for other decor. We um, rented an arbor for behind us. We're doing our entire ceremony indoors with only 30 people because of coronavirus and we're going to stream the rest of everything. Um, it's just economical, it's safer. Um, we don't want anybody to get sick during our wedding but we want the most important people there to celebrate with us. So these are going to probably be draped from the um, the arbor that's going to be behind us. And for those of you who don't know what an arbor is, it's just like a wooden, you know, the wooden rectangular pieces that people have. Sometimes they drape fabric from it. Sometimes they're round. We chose like a birch one because we're actually gonna get married in January. Secret tip there. Um, you can get a venue for like half the price during the winter. And then on top of that, if you're having a micro wedding or like us, we have 30 people, a tiny wedding, you can talk to them and they'll give you other packages that are much smaller. Um, in our case, we found a venue that was awesome and they're allowing us to have our own caterer. So you don't have to pay for a pricey caterer that's linked to them, but that's only because we have a really small wedding party. Um, last but not least, I took all the extra scraps and divvied them up. Because we're only having 30 people, we only have five guest tables. So I took all the scraps so that I would have like a variation of flowers. There's like a thistle in each. There's two calla lilies and then there's some wisteria and some random greenery. Those I'm gonna use for my table decorations. So um, I'm just going to kind of recreate something here. This isn't what I'm going to have, but it'll give you the kind of the idea. This is just something I had around the house. It's just like a candle holder. And then um, say you wanna put like a, a picture of you and your significant other um, in the middle of the table as like a really simple centerpiece. And then you can just kind of like twist stuff like this and put it on, um, take a little wisteria and put it around. I hope you guys can see this. I'm not used to making YouTube videos. Um, and then like sprinkle the random greenery in here. And again, you could do some on the backside too, but you can't see that right now. So I'm not gonna show you that. Um, to create just like a tiny little classy centerpiece that's not over the top. Um, I guess I'll have to double check after I'm done whether you can actually see this or not. But I hope this helps. Again, I strictly used Amazon um, for this and but there's a lot of really good options also at like michael's i think ac moore is going out of business so that's not really an option anymore um i'm not that familiar with hobby lobby but i'm sure that they probably have some good stuff as well i just because i'm pregnant i'm not going in any stores at all right now so the only place that i've been is to visit our our venue and that is it so i hope this was helpful i will post more videos if I find other things that are super helpful for planning a quarantine COVID-19 
crazy, crazy wedding. So have a good one.